All right, friends, here is your design challenge. What you're going to need this week for your stream class is one sheet of paper. This paper should be the regular size, eight and a half by 11. So if you have old scrap paper, um, some old copies, maybe some old reading pages that you don't need anymore, like I'm recycling a coloring page. You're gonna need one of these. The other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need something like a glue stick or tape. So let me grab a glue stick from my cupboard. All right, I also have tape in case my glue stick doesn't work. So here is our design challenge. Our design challenge is to create a paper chain that is as long as we can make it from this one sheet of paper. So we're going to need to cut the paper apart. And what we need to ask ourselves is, how can we make this one sheet of paper as long as possible? And we're doing it by making loops in the paper. So I'm gonna make a paper chain, and I don't think it's going to be the longest paper chain we've ever seen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of paper and I'm gonna carefully use my scissors to cut strips. I can make these strips as wide or as thin as I want. But what I need to remember is my goal is to make the longest chain I can. So let me get these pieces cut apart. If you don't have scissors at home, you can try to rip the paper into strips. Um, I don't know how neatly you're going to be able to do it, but you'll be, you'll be able to make some kind of a strip, I'm sure. Um, be creative because, like I said, your goal is to make the longest paper chain that you can. All right, so I'm just cutting my last strips now. All right, so I've got these strips of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make loops out of them, okay? So remember, a loop is going to be a closed circle. I don't know if you can see that very well. So just, be, just because it's easier, I'm gonna just tape today. I'm gonna cut off a big piece of tape to rip from, and I'm going to close those loops. Now, if it's easier for you, you know, if you've got your own roll of scotch tape, or if mom allows you to use her tape. Okay, so now I've got this one, and I'm going to add another one to it. Okay, next, I'm gonna put another one. And I'm just going to keep adding pieces of paper on to make my chain longer and longer and longer. It's going to take you a little bit of time. You might wanna talk it over with a grown up before you start cutting because they might have some ideas about how to get that piece of paper, or get the most strips out of that piece of paper uh, before you start cutting. Because once you start cutting, you can't put it back together into a piece of one, you know, one sheet of paper again. All right. And what I'm going to do I am going to have you create your a screencastify submit with a picture of you holding your paper chain. Now I'm still not quite done with my strips, but you can see that my paper chain is getting there. It's not super long. I think that you could definitely do a much better job than I am, but I want to see how your paper chain comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do these last couple of strips. Oops. Oh, I've got a few more. I thought I only had two. Five or six, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. So when I'm done, I'm gonna do my Screencastify 
And if you want to, you can compare the length of your paper chain to your own height. You can start it down at the floor. So maybe you wanna put your big toe on it and hold it so we can see how, how big it is. If it ends up being a whole lot bigger than you, maybe you can show us in your, in your house where you're creating it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing your paper chains. Remember, one sheet of paper is all you're allowed to use to create the longest paper chain that you can. And if you, if you want to, and you have a way to measure, you can even use your uh, measuring tape to measure the length of your um, paper chain. Okay, friends? If you have any questions, please let me know. The screen